In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Well, welcome to the Grotto of Lords in Litchfield on this beautiful... Today we celebrate two holy people, very different people, but two people dedicated to the gospel. One is St. Faustina, Polish nun who devoted herself to the mercy of Jesus, the divine mercy of Jesus, and Blessed Francis Xavier Salos, uh, Bohemia, and came over to the United States in the 1800s and worked in Pittsburgh and preached all over the United States. So, took the gospel seriously. So we and we ask God to guide us to his mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to bring the good news of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Death. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you share with us the abundant mercy of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to a perfect life. Let us us us. O oh God, you made Saint Faustina and Blessed Francis Xavier Salos outstanding in love, that they might proclaim the mysteries of your mercy and redemption. Grant by their intercession that we may work zealously for your glory and for the salvation of humankind. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Reading from the of Nehemiah. In the open space before the water gate. And they called upon the rise of Ezra the scribe to bring from the book of the law Moses, which described for. On the of the law before the assembly, which consisted of men, women, and those children old enough to understand. Book from day, in the presence of the men, the women, and those children old enough to understand, and all the people listened attentively to the book of the law. Ezra the scribe stood on a wooden platform that had been made for the occasion. He opened the scroll so that all the people might see it, for he was standing higher up than any of the people. And as he opened it, all the people rose. Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God, and all the people. Their hands raised high, answered, Amen, Amen. Then they themselves before the Lord, their faces to the ground. As the people remained in their places, as book of the law of God, all could understand what was read. Then Nehemiah, that is, his excellency, and Ezra, the and 
instructing the people, said to all the people, Today is holy to the Lord your God. Do not be sad, and do not weep. For all the people were weeping as they heard the words of the law. He said, And drink sweet drinks, and allot portions to those who had nothing prepared. For today is holy to our Lord. Do not be saddened this day, for rejoicing in the Lord must be your strength. And the Levites quieted all the people, saying, Hush, for today is holy. You must not be saddened. Then all the people went to eat and drink, to distribute portions, and to celebrate with great joy, for they understood the words that had been expounded to them. The Lord. Refreshing the soul, the decree. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. Command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. They are precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold. Sweeter also than or honey from the The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord, be with we, 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 we. A reading from the Holy God according to Luke. And two other disciples who went out ahead. <laughs> In place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are scarce. So ask the man at the harvest, There's no doubt laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a, peaceful, if a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter, welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick in it, and, and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. Whatever town you enter and they do not receive you, 
Go out into the streets and say, The dust of your town that clings to our feet, even that we shake against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God is at hand. I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom on that day than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. This is a very moving scene from the book of Nehemiah to the people and they are just cut to the heart and they weep. You have to understand the context of this story. This is at a time when the people have just come back to Jerusalem from being in exile and they forgotten they've forgotten how to live as the people of God. And so this book of the law is, is uh, rediscovered and it's totally new for them. It's as if we completely forget about the Gospels and one day somebody uncovers a copy of the New Testament and it's read to us and we say, that's what it means to be a Christian. That's what it means to follow Jesus. It's a completely new revelation. They've gathered in Jerusalem, they're rebuilding the temple, law, and they're just cut to the heart. They're saying, we never knew. We never knew that this what it did. Members of the people of God. We didn't know this is what it means to follow the Ark of the God. And so as they rediscover this, as they hear words of the, law, of the law, they just begin to weep because they have forgotten their very selves and they're rediscovering it. And yet Ezra and Nehemiah are, well, don't cry. Rejoicing in the Lord should be your strength. Word of God. We celebrate today two people who are very different, but who both are God by the word of Ina Saint Faustina, who and of the mercy of Jesus, the divine mercy of Jesus travel anywhere. She just stayed in her convent. And Francis Xavier Salos, who crossed the ocean from Europe to the United States in the 1800s, who worked in Pittsburgh, who as a redemptorist priest traveled around to preach the gospel to different parishes in the United States. Very different people, but both taken up with the gospel taken up with the word of God, just like those 72 disciples that Jesus sends out in the gospel. So we are people who are not living our lives in a convent in Poland. We're not living our lives wandering around the countryside in the 1800s. And yet we're people who are called to take the gospel seriously, to bring the good news of Jesus, to others in whatever way we can, in the way we meet people, in the way we, 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 we. Blessed to be our guides and our example of people who allow the gospel to touch us deeply and allow us to touch other people with the mercy and the good news of the gospel.
So let's offer our prayers to the Lord. We pray for the church. We pray for one another. We pray for all those gathered in Rome for the synod, that they may be guided by the Holy Spirit, that we, 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 we allow the gospel for fruit in our lives. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have asked for our prayers. Mass today is offered for Linda Macari, that God will continue to bless her with life, with love. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are sick, all those you know who need God's healing. We pray for infant Conrad, for baby, baby Olivia, for Sandra, Nicole, for Ellen and Jim, for Nancy Rosa, for Bob, Anne and Barbara, for all those who are sick, and for all those who care for the sick. We pray. We pray. Very, very, very. Died. We remember. Alice Santos, Lori McCormick, and Rick. Before us. Of his mercy. Everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. And for all the prayers that we hold in our hearts, let's pause for a moment in silence. We pray to the Lord. Loving God, we extend you mercy to receive these prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice and our lives may be acceptable to God, the loving Father. O merciful God, grant that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through the wellspring of all blessing may be lilin for us. Through Christ our, our Lord, or, or, or. the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, 
Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayer sustains us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an explanation. Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Was ascended, he took the The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. For as we celebrate your here, here, death and Christ, we may be gathered all the clergy and all who minister to your people brothers and hope of the resurrection Mercy to the little, little face. Have mercy, see, 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 see. Blessed upon Saint Edina, with a with a with a with a with a Savior, say, and a 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 throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Filled with the Spirit of Jesus, we are able to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, thy name, thy kingdom, ka, 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 thy will be done, earth as it is in heaven. Give us daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. On our sins, but on the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace be with you all. Let's offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all together to everlasting life. center aisle. If walking is a difficulty, just stay where you are. After the others have come forward, I'll bring communion to you in your place. Just raise your hand and I'll come to you.
Let us pray. Almighty God, grant that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Well, the Grotto Cafe is opened if you want to stop by for lunch. Today, as usual, is um, chicken pot pie day, but there's lots of other good, good things there. Um, also, the gift shop is open. Um, this coming Saturday, we're going to have the Blessing of Animals at 4 o'clock in honor of St. Francis. So it'll be 4 o'clock. If the weather is good, we'll be out here at the Grotto. If it's raining, we'll be in Pilgrim Hall. So it's Saturday at 4 o'clock. You can bring your dogs, cats, turtles, aardvarks, whatever you have as a pet. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thank you. Have a good day.